Welcome to Fresh Police South Africa. I'm sure a lot of y'all are wondering why I'm not posting about Miss SA because it's currently underway on SABC's three crown chases where they eliminate each girls every week until the finale. So we don't know the top finalist. Are there going to be seven like last year? Are there going to be ten? We don't know. We just wait to see. Well, this is my top five as it currently stands. I can change my my mind any day anyhow because i think this year's badge is just absolutely amazing just like any other year the competition is stiff the competition is tough and you know it will be sad to see any of these ladies leave anyway who's gonna take over from natasha you were oh my goodness she is amazing and i've never seen a brand that works so hard for this year natasha really made me wanna enter for miss essay even though I don't qualify because I'm overage. But anyway, this is my top five. Chichi Vanessa, who recently into the limelight. Every day, people are just fighting whether she's Nigerian or South African. You know, people are just mad at her for doing what she does best. She's in my top five. She's always been as soon as I saw her entry video, I was like, yes. I was very happy to find out that she's back and then she's back with a bang. She is a model. I think by profession because her bio does not say much my take is this on her controversy the miss sa are the one that makes uh that audit if people are eligible to become miss south africa and if she's in the top 13 it means she's eligible to become miss south africa so i'm gonna trust the organization right now gochi you are in my top five Number four, Tahira Cat. Just like many other ladies, because South Africa is full of beautiful ladies, and there are a lot of beautiful ladies in the top um top 13. But I will pick Tahira as my number four because I can see she's trying to be authentic. Because a lot of people will rely on their beauty to take them through, but I can see Tahira trying to redefine the norms that beauty queens are just beauty queens i can see her trying to be vulnerable and she kills me on stage she's amazing i just want her to practice more on the speaking skills and she might win the crown number three letuk tula maseko i think she's amazing man she is a bcom economy metrics and she's honest as well my goodness these ladies are very smart i like the way she works i like the way she carries herself i like the way she's taking this competition seriously she was once miss aura south africa so she i think she represented the country internationally before and number top two baby untiameti she was my number one before. Right now, she's my number two. Like I said, I can change my mind, okay? But this is my top five closest to the crown. Untia Meti is also a two times um, graduate, and she's killing the competition. I can see her. She's trying a little bit. I, I would also advise her to practice speaking authentically. That's what's going to get you that crown, okay? Number one, drum roll, please. A lot of people have been complaining that Nobumelo Madonna is getting a little bit of obvious favoritism just like natasha was getting a little bit obvious favoritism last year on crown chasers i would like to tell people that i for one can see numbul melelo's transformation like she has she is my number one to watch out for the crown she was you know favoritism or not we cannot shy away for the fact that Nombu Melela has transformed she was top five in 2019 when Zosie won she was Miss Earth South Africa recently I don't know when I've been following her throughout the years and I know she hosts workshop for more for young girls wanting to enter into pageant industry and I know why she hosts workshops because she is that girl this is the girl to watch out for for the finale I think she might snatch that crown from the other ladies if they're not away for now she's my number one threat to the crown and I love her transformation I love that she knows what to do to win the crown and she's doing it so watch out for her goodbye